When Jesus was walking the planet as a man, doing miracles, healing the blind, the deaf, the lame, raising the dead, feeding thousands of people, casting out demons, calming storms, and walking on water, news didn't travel quite as fast as it does today. But with what Jesus was doing, word was getting around. There was one time when Jesus was teaching uh, and a demon-possessed man confronted him. Jesus commanded the spirit to come out of him, and it did. People were tripping out. They were amazed. They said, what's this? A new teaching and one with authority. <laughs> authority, whatever. News about him spread, and I quote, over the whole region of Galilee. It's a natural thing today to see a good movie, eat at a good restaurant, find a funny cat video to want to share it, right? What do you do when you experience something cool? Do you keep it to yourself? No, you tell people about it so they can experience it too. People were talking about Jesus a lot, talking a lot. Everywhere he went, word went ahead of him and crowds of people gathered. One day, when it was just he and his disciples, Jesus asked them, who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others, Jeremiah or one of the prophets. Jesus was checking. I think, where the rumor mill was going and what people were thinking. I don't think he was as interested in that as much as this next question to his disciples that put them on the spot. But what about you, he asked. Who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. This was the key question for his disciples then and for his disciples today. If you claim to be a follower of Jesus, this is a question you need to be able to answer clearly and convincingly. Over 2,000 years ago, um, people were talking about this. And people are still talking about Jesus, still speculating, still looking for the truth. Who do people say he is? Some say he was a good teacher. Some say a prophet. Some say a spiritual guru or a leader. Some say a liar. It was a fraud. What people say hasn't changed thousands of years later. It's not what people are saying, but what you are saying that's important. Who do you say he is? Maybe another question is, do you even say anything? Do the people around you even know that you are a follower of Jesus? I bet they know where you ate lunch last week or your favorite movie last month or what's on your mind right now as you tweet or Facebook or Instagram or whatever. But do they know who you think Jesus is? Do they know that you even think about Jesus? Do they know that you follow Jesus? Of all the speculation that has surrounded who Jesus is over the millennia, Peter's answer to Jesus is the best there's ever been. Jesus, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Who do you say that Jesus is?